this video, I just want to try something new. As you can see, I'm not home, but I still want to be able to shoot this content and let's see how it goes. So what am I talking about today? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five design mistakes every Canva designer should avoid because look, I've seen a lot of um, designs and I think that a lot of Canva designers get to four shots with, get to four shots or get to four with, you know, I get to see these mistakes in a lot of beginners designs. So I want to point them out to you so that you can avoid these designs. And I also would want you to know that the last step is a very important important tip you'd want to stick around for. Okay, so let's dive straight into it. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on my channel, I think you should really, really subscribe because um, I always try to bring you the best Canva designer. Hey, what did I even just the, the best Canva design possible. And you see, I'm now coming to have my breakfast. So, um, what is tip one? So the first tip has to do with heavily relying on Canva template or pre-made template. And I understand, yes, Canva comes with a lot of pre-made template, but if you really, really, really want to make it to the top, I think that is something you'd want to veer away from at least not too much but just get comfortable with designing from scratch because think about it this way how many clients would come to you and just say they want you to edit template for them i'm i'm sure you'd really even find clients like that so instead of being someone who heavily relies or just edit template you would rather want to be someone who creates template for your clients and yeah so we have tip number two which is neglecting design principles <laughs> If you want to be an expert in any form of design, then one of the things you should really consider is understanding design principles. So why design principles? The reason is design principles would really help you to create visually appealing designs and would also help you to communicate effectively in your designs. So for example, applying the hierarchy principle to your design will ensure that important information stands out and is easily understood by the viewer. And applying the and applying the and applying the pattern and applying the pattern principle of design one eternity later and applying the pattern principle would help you create a sense of harmony and balance in your design so i challenge you take some time to learn about the design principles because once you can do this look i trust you your designs are really going to move to another level so tip three is overusing elements i understand sometimes the fact that we have a lot of elements available in canva can tempt us to keep adding elements in your design but that is not the way at all if you really want your design to stand out then you should always aim at simplifying your design which means that look out for elements which do not add any value to your design and remove them so let me just give you an example. What I do most of the time is when I design something and I feel like the design isn't really meeting my expectation, what I do is I just remove elements and ask myself, is this element really helping or it's not? If it's helping to make my design better, it should be there. If it's not, just delete it because there's no need to attach emotions to your design. And let me add this as well. If you're on the free version of Canva, you can be limited when it comes to elements. But here's what I can say. You shouldn't be limited because you can do this. Go on any PNG website, download the element you want and upload them in Canva just so that you can have them in your upload folder. This is something I used to do before I transitioned to Canva Pro. But if you still think you don't want to be doing this extra again, I have a link in the description box below that can help you start using Canva Pro for free. So make sure you're checking it out before we move to the fourth tip. And tip number five is using blurry photos in your design. So one of the things you would want to avoid a lot is using blurry photos because this would really make your design look unprofessional. One of the negative effects of blurry photos is it would always scream to your client and to your audience that, hey, look, this guy over here lacks attention to details. So make sure you're always using quality and high res photos in your Canva design. Please make sure you are doing that. Okay, so this is tip number five. Make sure you're not hanging your photos in your design because this is one of the most terrible things you can do. Some photos, I understand, would have sharp edges and you as a designer, especially a Canva designer, would want to make sure you're hiding all the sharp edges of your photos in the design. Okay, so what you can do is you can use gradient, which I love to do a lot, or basically just increase the size of the image if possible so you can hide the sharp um, edges of your image. And yes, these are my five design mistakes every Canva designer should avoid. So let me know which one you find yourself doing a lot in the comment section. The name is Benjamin. The video on the screen as well is the next video I really want you to watch if you want to improve on your Canva skills. And don't forget, there's no limit to creativity and I should see you in the next video. Bye.